Well, hello, friends. It is Sharon here from I Restore Stuff. How are you today? I, I wonder if there's any of you out there who get excited every time you receive one of these in the mail. If you do, you must belong to the Stencil of the Month Club. So I just thought I'd start the video out with that. Hello, you've been expecting me. Who else is, sits there waiting for those live announcements to pop up to say that um, you can join the live? So let me just check on my, here we are, video so I can see you all. And we are working on tiered trays this week. You can see behind me, have a little look at the things I've got there. I'll take you for a little tour of that in a minute, I, I think. Hello, Maggie. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Diana. Tracy. You're all here. Donna. From the chilly regions of the northern north of America and here I am in my short sleeves because it's still summer here in Australia and we're enjoying it. Who wants a closer look at what I've got here ready for my tiered tray? Now I was live over on my page which is I Restore Stuff if you haven't been over there. I was live there yesterday showing you how I painted a few things ready for the tiered tray this week. One of them was this little pencil box. Another one was this cute it's a book. So look at the book. Um, I don't know, what do you call that? The spine there. It has these little ridges on it to make it look like a book. But it's one of those paper mache kind of craft items. So you could just paint that up. I'll be stenciling on that today. I also showed you this little chalkboard. And you know that those are normally pine looking. So I stained that yesterday using some grey black mixture of chalk paint and I stained that on the um, edges and on the wood parts to make it look a little bit like driftwood. So we're gonna be stenciling on that today. Uh, and some of the tags, I was wondering if I can bring you a little bit closer. I don't normally do this, but I might take it off the stand and flip you around just so you can have a little look closer at what we've got over here. And while I'm at it, hang on, let me see where's the flipper. Okay, so while I'm at it, a lot of you from the Stencil of the Month Club ask how, we, how I store my stencils. Now, because I've flipped this around, the tools are showing you the words back to front. I might have to turn, turn it this way. Oh, no, can't do that either. Um, but I put these little labels in here, and I sort them in this great big tub, plastic tub right here. So for those of you asking that, I've got a separate little basket down here at the bottom all of the smaller stencils and then I organize them so letters and numbers, patterns and wreaths, farmhouse, valentines, Christmas, all of the things. So there you go and I've got my mini tags out here because we'll be using some of those today. I made these uh, beads, the wooden beads, just using a DIY tutorial. I have these trays so today I'm going to be show showing you how you can create a tiered tray look without tiered trays because I don't have any and we're moving house and packing boxes so I kept out these two wooden trays this one has a little bit of an edge or a lip on it this flipped around camera view is messing with my brain um, I want to turn one way but then I have to turn the other way so this is just an acacia board a chopping board we're going to be using that today and I found a few things just at the store uh, little, um, what do you call it, a pick, I suppose, with a boxwood thing. I may even chop that stick off the end of it. A couple of things of greenery, a mug. These gorgeous little stoneware looking vases were actually, what do you call it, they're reeds, um, glass reed jars that my daughter DIY'd and just, they were just ordinary glass jars. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, and she just DIY'd and changed them up into these cute stoneware. So there's that. I've got this gorgeous pot from my grandma that was a probably a dripping pot, collected all the dripping. Now I've always got a little bit of greenery, that kind of thing. I've got some linen towels because that could just add a little bit of texture to our tiered tray. I did find a couple of things at our op shop or our thrift store. So I love to have a little bit of wood and some metal and things like that. This is just a little jewelry box that's carved, but 
even things like that could add a little bit of height, things like that. Now don't pass up your jewelry section, guys. So I found this, it's a bracelet, but I thought we could use that as a tiered tray because for our tiered tray decor. Watch this, I have this little succulent, just adds a little bit of height and a little bit of interest like that. So there's all these things that you can add, just another bracelet, but that little piece of wood you could use as something else, you know, to add height to a jar or whatever, I don't know. So just some fun things that I thought of that you may not think of. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a book stack here. We've got some wooden tags from Essential Stencil. If you don't have these, you can order them. Anything you order from Essential Stencil, use my code IRESTOREStUFF and you'll get 10% off. So here is the wooden tags as they come in a set of three. And so I've just stained a couple of those. This is something else I found at a thrift store, just a set of three baskets. So I may be able to use those today. And of course, Ferrero Rochers. This was from my birthday this week, earlier in the birthday, and I thought maybe you know, I've got a few left, only a few, but I might be able to use those somewhere on my tiered tray. I don't know. Okay, let me just pop you back on the stand and see if we can get started with some stenciling. Hopefully that camera work wasn't too wobbly shaky. I don't like taking it off the stand because I know sometimes it creates a bit of too much movement and people get dizzy trying to watch that. Okay, so you can see the things behind me there, but the stencils I'll be using today, and thank you guys so much for sprinkling, um, I'll just have my little reminder up there that you can do that for this video, and let other people know, tag a friend. Have you been watching, oh thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes, yes, um, we are in the middle of packing and moving house yesterday, We'd a, we did a big part of our move, like, you know, moving those big things like your fridge and your beds and all of that. So we kind of slept at the new place last night, woke up this morning, I'm like, well, there's still food in the pantry here, so we have bread there, but the toast is here, and we have milk there, but the cereal's here. <laughs> we had a bit of a messed up morning, so anyway, all my work stuff is still here at this place, but maybe next week's live, I'll be in our new house and go live from there. I wanted to mention some of the stencils. Ha uh, did anyone else receive their spring bundle yet? Let's have a look at those really quickly. I'm, I'm sure probably some of the other ambassadors may have shared this, but for those of you who haven't seen the set yet, there's a bundle of spring um, stencils that are new. You can go and thank you, Essential Stencil, wishing me a happy birthday. Um, I'm watching comments over here on my laptop, guys, because some don't turn up on my phone. You can go and order any of those from essentialstencil.com using my code IRESTOREStUFF. The link is in the description of the live and also they usually will pin some comments here that you can find them. Check out this font, it's a whole alphabet. So you can do those vertical signs or even make them go across ways with this Algerian font. And it's almost that 3D looking font that we are familiar with when a, with a couple of other stencils that Essential has put out in the past. There is another vertical sign for spring that says blooms. Just pulling that in real close so you can see. And a Easter, he is risen. So if you do want to grab a hold of any of these spring stencils, I believe some of them may, that font, that it's coming back in, but I am not sure if they've got it back in just yet. It was out of stock. Uh, we've got this spring one. It's called Spring Sayings. So we've got live life in full bloom. In a field of roses, she is a wildflower. Some gorgeous designs there. And there's a third one that I think says all things grow with love. Then we have our gorgeous flowers. This is a set of three, three different flowers. So we've got our dahlia, I think it's called, and a rose right here. And the other one is a sunflower, which you can see in there. I won't open all these up because I'm not using those all today. Oh, the last one, which I will be using this one today, is part of the Easter uh, collection. It's, it is finished and it's got some gorgeous scripture verses on there. So I want to use that one today for God so love the world on my little book that I showed you earlier that I painted black to make it kind of look like a Bible. And um, someone else said that they were frozen. I hope that you can all see. Let me
let me know if you can't. Internet looks good on my end. So what I wanted to do was put some metallic on here to make those, those stand out. But I forgot, guys, I've got half of my stuff at the new place, half my stuff here. I forgot to bring my metallics. The other thing I'd love to do was, you know in the pages, how you see those either silver or gold edged Bibles? So I thought that would be cute if I did some of that to decorate that. So this is gonna be a fun little um, project we'll do in a minute. The other things I'll be stenciling. So what I'd love to do today is show you how we can stencil something for our tiered tray using all of the different seasons. So I've got four sides to this box, four seasons. So we'll be using four of the mini tag sets to do those um, seasons. And then we'll get onto some mini tags and our chalkboard sign. What would you put? I'd love to know in the comments which tag, I've got mini tags here, which one would you use for the chalkboard sign? Or you could leave it blank and just use chalk, uh, actual chalk, and write a different message on that for our tiered tray. A lot of you are probably wondering, what's she gonna be, how is she gonna make a tiered tray from just these two wood pieces of uh, chopping boards or whatever? Stay tuned, you will have to see. I will make it a little display in the end. Right now, I'll pop you down so we can see. Let's work on that little book for the starters. And um, I'll move you camera down so we can see what we're working on here. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comments. Essential Stencil has put those um, stencils, or the link for where you can grab those stencils. Oh, guys, I forgot to show you. Are you in the Stencil of the Month Club? Because look what also came in the mail this week. If you don't have yours, it will be coming soon. Don't stress. Um, it's East, all the Easter words and all the Easter sayings. So the Stencil of the Month Club, great value, comes in a set of, comes with a set of three every month. And you get to be in their exclusive Facebook group. So let me show you a little close up of what there is. You probably have seen that on the page here, but there's a bunch of spring sayings. There's three huge stencils that are the same size as this one. There's three right across there. And the add-on, this month, I'm really excited about. It's this, I guess you'd call it a typewriter font, but it's small enough that it fits on these book pages. I'm gonna have to paint over that little green patch there, but these are just books without covers, but they've got a great example on the back here and a cute Valentine shout out to Jessica and Ramon, our story, and they are the creators of Essential Stencil, the founders right there. So there's the example of what you can do with these letters. So you do not want to miss the add-on this month. So that is the Stencil of the Month Club set. Just thought I'd mention that. If you are not have not joined that, you can join using my code and get 50% off your first month. All right, so here's the, oh, it's raining. It is raining, nice and wet today. And you can probably hear some raining, some birds. Here are the things that we've got in this set. We've got It Is Finished with John 19 verse 30. There are four stencils to this pack. The next one I wanna show you is He Is Risen. It's got the scripture verse where you can find it. And we've got His Love Endures Forever. And the one I'm going to be using today, because look, it's perfect size for my little book, which I've just decided it just looks like a Bible. I don't know if you can see those ridges on the end there. It's just one of those paper mache craft items. I do have an Amazon storefront. Um, and if you want the link to that, <clears throat> just let me know in the comments and I can come back later and post that in. But in that storefront, I've got a bunch of little ideas of like things that you can stencil on, there's little groups, wish lists I think that you would call them. Okay, so I've got to get my brush ready and I'll just use one of the Essential Stencil brushes so you can get those also from the Essential Stencil website. Use my code, I restore stuff. It always helps if I put my glasses on and I can see your comments better. I have some offloading paper here which is just my junk mail. So we're doing on black, we want to have something really contrasting, so I'm using uh, our chalk paint, Australian-made um, 
artisan paint that I've been loving to use lately on my lives. But you can use any acrylic or water-based paint. Just putting a little tiny bit in my jar. Oh, rain's getting heavier. I'm going to have to compete with that. Hopefully it's not louder than my voice. <laughs> Um, and if you, I'm, I restore stuff actually is my, at I restore stuff is my handle on any of my social media platforms, so you may be able to find it that way if, if you go onto Amazon. Thanks Roxy, yeah, I'll jump on there and post that later. So what we need to do is offload our brush. I've got the white chalk paint on there, centre it really well. I'm opening this, it's a little box. Can you see that? It's, that's the material that it's made out of, just that paper mache kind of a project. Wow, that rain is coming down hard and fast. <laughs> I'm waiting for, we have louvers up in this big workshop area that I'm in. And if the rain pelts sideways in a really big gust of wind, it can come inside. <laughs> so that's always fun. Okay, so I'm, I've got my hand held really tight on there. Because I've offloaded most of the paint onto the paper, I can give this a little pounce, a smush, a swirl around, and it's not going to bleed under the letters because we've offloaded most of the paint until it's almost dry. I don't know if you can see my hand there, but I'm just trying to brush it on my hand, and there's hardly any coming off on my hand. So that's when you know it's dry enough to go onto your project. Now because this book, or book box, whatever you would want to call it, box in the shape of a book, because it's made from that paper mache, it's kind of a stiff cardboard, and it's a little bit um, giving, so it, it's, a, it's kind of bending in the middle slightly. So I'm trying to put not too much pressure on, but enough pressure to be able to uh, stencil it and keep the stencil down firm. So I'm holding, trying to do this one hand, offload. So I remember last week I was talking about what day Easter is this week. Does anyone remember? I think it's the first week in April this year. Hello everybody, thank you so much for saying hi. You guys, I love just watching your conversations that happen in the comments. And don't forget that if, um, if you're joining the conversation, Essential Stencil picks some winners at the end of our live. If you've never watched one of our lives before, please say hello and let us know that it's your first time watching. We give away prizes here at Essential Stencil. And if you are watching the replay, Please comment the word replay. But if it's around about 7 p.m. CST, then you're not watching the replay, you're watching the live. Hi, Lisa. That's okay if you're coming in late. That reminds me that people do join up and watch the live at various times while we're live. So that's why I sometimes you'll hear us as ambassadors just repeat ourselves and what, what we're doing and what we're working on with our projects. So it's tiered tray week here at Essential Stencil and every ambassador this week is working on a tiered tray a tiered tray decor so these are just items that you could use on a tiered tray so this week um, today it's my turn so this is a little item that you could put on your tiered tray for an Easter theme so who loves to just decorate with the themes of the seasons or the events or whatever holidays are happening at the time. So this one would suit an Easter theme. My tiered tray today is going to be a bit versatile. So I'll tell you ideas that you can do with it, um, but we're going to be doing something for every season. So you can see how you can change it up. There we go. So how cute is that? For God so loved the world. And that is from the it is finished, six by six stencil, four pack, which has four different verses in there. So I will do some more bling and some metallic, something, I wanna do something on these bands here to make them stand out on 
visually and also for the pages of the book. I'd love to do some kind of silver or gold in there. So I'll we'll pop that one aside. The other things we have to work on, let's do a tag, a mini tag, or I'll work on my, this one first. And for this, I'm going to be using a dark paint because white on the blue won't stand out as well. It'll, it'll be subtle. So this is just a craft MDF uh, pencil box. I didn't paint the base off. I'm just gonna pop my brush in a damp cloth so that it doesn't dry out. So the idea I had for this, I've just painted it a really soft pastel blue, which would really lend well to Easter. But the idea I had was we could do something for each season on all four sides of this box, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I've selected um, a mini tag set. So Essential Stencil has these mini tags which work perfectly for their mini tags, the wooden tags. I've stained this one, so we'll choose um, something for those a little later. So I chose a Christmas one, I chose a fall or autumn one, I chose a spring one, and for summer I chose the lemon, zesty lemons, because I love a good lemonade <clears throat> in the summertime. Okay, so th then you can sort of rotate it as you're doing your um, tiered tray. The other thing I was going to say is that you could change the color of each side. So for spring, I might, you know, use one of the little Easter mini tags or the spring one. Then I could change this to say a red background for Christmas or an orange or fall colors for fall so that when you turn it around, it's those colors, maybe the yellow for the lemons, something like that. So the set that I'm using right now is the spring is here tags. And I am just going to use one of the words Probably spring is here. That looks like it fits perfectly. Is that the one I was using? I think that's the one I said. And I will have to use a darker colour. So I've got my white chalk paint there. It's going to pour out a little bit of the black, which is a, again, it's just a chalk paint. Crystal, you haven't bought any of the minis yet. Yeah, you can. You don't have to just use them for the mini tags, the wooden tags either. You, there's so many different ways that you can use them. If you love to make your own gift cards for people, so they're great for that because they're seasonal ones. Uh, yeah, gift cards, all sorts of things that you can make them with. Every set of mini tags actually comes with these, the black cardboard cardstock that comes in between to just separate the images. These are perfect for making gift tags also. So there's that. So I could get all colourful with our spring spring one. Mm, I'm wondering if I should do the whole wreath. Yeah, why not? Uh, but for right now, just to make it easier so that I can move along, I'm just going to use the black. Again, I'm just using one of the essential stencil brushes, offloading it. Thank you guys for sprinkling and sharing our live. Okay, so it just, just fits from top to bottom. I could, you could just leave out one of the greenery items at the bottom. But it just fits, we'll keep it in. You can opt to pounce. Once I've got most of that cleared off the brush, I'll just give it a swirl. So this, one, this side of the pencil box I'm using is for spring. And then if you missed what I said before, I'm going to do something for each season on each side of the box, so then you can decorate it. So for spring, or you could do an Easter one. I think we may be out of the Easter mini tags right now, but um, there's some spring ones left could fill it with gorgeous flowers instead of, it's a pencil box, but you could basically fill it with anything. Fill it with Easter eggs. All right, this is tricky. Sometimes we just have to get paint on our fingers. So it's super quick and easy. If you just offload your brush as much as you can, it's pretty sharp 
and there we go. Um, so again, we'll, whoops, we've got a little brush here. So the next side I might work on, what does it go? Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Let's do summer. So for summer, I was going to use, so if you have a wet cloth, Andy, some people often ask, how do you clean your stencils? So if I'm using just a chalk based paint, like I am now, it <clears throat> comes off with a wet cloth fairly easily. Some of the mineral paints, they're a little bit um, harder, to, more difficult to get the chalk paint off. Let that to dry. Okay, that was our spring. Summer, lemons. Love a bit of lemonade in the summertime. So uh, this one's not gonna fit, so we just kind of work out which one will fit. Then the lemons one comes with these. It's got the fresh lemon, sweet lemon farm with the little truck and the lemons, which is really cute. And I think this one, the Be Zesty, I believe that will fit if I try really hard to make it fit. I'm gonna go that one. Maybe I'll leave off that water, I mean, it's probably lemonade, splash over that side and I'll like put the splash on in this side. See how we go with that. Now, if I can see just a little bit of wood there where that splash just might go, I'm just gonna tape that off to make sure we don't get it on there. That's all you need to do. So if there's any bits you need to tape off, so now it just fits once again. Yeah, the lemons are fun. So then, say you had this lemon theme going, and you know, obviously I could go on, and I may even do do that later, is you can actually, whoops, now, here's the thing. I do need a bit more tape on here, and I can actually tape it down, because the, the what is that, zesty, the Z. Oh, we call it Z. you guys call it Z. There we go, my Australian accent coming through, my Australian culture. Um, it's very close to the edge, actually, So and so is the Y. And, okay, so what I was gonna say is, now, you're, when you're using this lemon theme, you could then get some real lemons or faux lemons, fake ones, and put them, display them on your tiered tray and have that gorgeous summer colors with the yellows and even bright greens coming through. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. So again, you can use all your different colors. I'm just doing black and white for the, well, black on blue it is. It's a really pastel blue color. And I was saying before that you could paint each side of the box, the pencil box, a different color for the different seasons also. Even do a bit of a shadow effect and create a yellow on that lemon. Just making sure when you're stenciling, you can kind of see whether it's covered fully or if it still needs a little bit more paint. So you can see here all that, sh it's almost like a shadowy effect on that lemon there. It's a bit of a rustic look, but you could leave it like that. Whoops, can you see that? or I could fill it in to make the colour a little bit more solid. So I think that kind of lends to that farmhouse look if we leave some of it not so solid, but just a little bit subtle. I'll show you what I mean. You can see it really close. See that? Um, whoops, it's this side. A little bit of subtle, not so fully covered. Gives it a bit of depth, I think. A little bit 3D looking. Okay, now the next side, yeah, Dahlia says she likes that shadowy, dusty look. Dusty looking, that's a good word. And I'll just clean that one off while I've got it. When it's just freshly done, if you leave the paint dry too long, it's harder to get off, isn't it? Okay, that's our summer, our lemons. So spring, summer, and that should be dry now, so I'm not gonna worry, it won't be too, it won't get on the, it won't mess up. <laughs> okay, the next one I've got is fall or autumn. 
autumn we call it here. And the autumn pack comes with Happy Fall Y'all, Sweet October, which won't fit because we're going sideways here, unless you did something tricky. Um, and then it's got the autumn blessings. I think I'll do the autumn blessings. That kind of suits. Australians call it autumn. You guys call it fall. I could just, uh, you know what I have to do with this one? I'll show you another trick. So my leaf is gonna come off here, but there is a little bit of a gap right here. So what I wanna do is tape off the leaf for a minute. I'll do my words first, and then I'll bring the leaf down a fraction so that it joins up with that. Wow, that wind is wild out there, you guys. Okay, people are loving those lemons. I know, we've got larger stencils in the lemon sets as well. There's larger lemon, whole lemon signs. Um, just, if you go to the Essential Stencil website, using my link there in the description, they have a search bar. So you type, type anything, any kind of themed thing you wanna look for. So if you're looking for lemons, Type in the word lemons and it will bring up all the stencils that have lemons in them. If you're looking for Christmas, look up the word Christmas. Okay, so I've got my words and I'll remove my tape. So because my leaf, see it comes off the end of my box here. So I've put the words down, so then I just have to shift the leaf to where it will fit and maybe I just have to make the stem a little smaller or I can just turn it on its side. Perfect, you guys. It fits right there like that. No one will even know. Okay, and I've still got a little bit of paint on my brush from before. Just have to tap a little bit more. You guys are having lots of snow in some parts of the US. Yeah, it's raining really big here right now. I think there's a storm around because I can also hear thunder. I'm painting my nails at the same time, unintentionally. Anyone else do that? Okay, so this is our fall stencil. So we're making on the pencil box here, a, each side represents a different season. So when we pop it on our tiered tray, you can place that season to the front, fill it with goodies. You know, you could put some dried leaves, fill this with dried leaves, have them sprinkling out the top. There you go, there's autumn. So we've got spring, summer, autumn, and now winter, I wanna put a Christmas theme because, well, for you guys, anyway, and not me, you guys, winter is Christmassy. Christmas is in the summer. So that one and the Christmas set I'm using today is the Tree Farm mini tag set. So there are a few different Christmas, but like I said, if you just type in Essential Stencil on their website, type in the search bar Christmas, you'll bring up all of the Christmas stencils. So we've got the Merry Christmas with the little truck, with the tree. We've got the Farm Fresh Christmas trees, but I think I'm going to pop on the Tree Farm let me just show you what that looks like, the tree farm. And I think I might leave off the bottom tree and that will just about fit perfectly if I just leave off the bottom tree. We don't need that down there, so just put a little bit of tape where it comes onto the box. Offloading my brush each time. The more we offload it, the less paint gets underneath the stencil. Oh, something there, a bit of gloss. All right. It's got a real farmhouse feel to it, this set. I like this Christmas tree mini tag set. So these are all designed for the wooden tags that you see right here, but I've stained these two, but they come in a set of three on the Essential Stencil website and they are perfect for what we're doing today, the tiered tray, look. And if you missed the beginning of our live, I gave you a look at all the different items that I've bought behind me here on the table.
table ready to make up a tiered tray when you don't have a tiered tray. So guys, if you don't have one of those fancy tiered trays that you see, again, I've, I've put some decor tiered tray ideas on my Amazon storefront. If you do want that link, um, I can get that to you later. Just pop a comment in and I can go through and let you know. There we go, tree farm. And see, I've just, all I did was cut off that from the bottom. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, let's do mini tags. So I've got these gorgeous wooden tags. Now, did we decide, guys? Um, oh, the B set. Yeah, that is fun too. Someone just mentioned that and someone else lost the connection for a little bit. Hopefully you're back. I haven't seen it go down on my end. So we were gonna decide whether to just leave this blank. I went on my I Restore Stuff page and I showed you how you can create a stain like this, a driftwood look, using just watered down paint. And I used a little bit of black and gray mixed together. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, so we could leave this blank and just make your own chalk message, or it does fit any of the mini tag stencil sets that you have seen us use. Um, so, let's have a look. Look, I didn't prepare this earlier to think about what else we could do, but I think I do love this farm, farmhousey look, so I might go with some of these. The Farm Fresh Mini Tag set. So I do love a bit of farmhouse, and I think that some of the decor items that I've got for my tiered tray really lend towards this. Now, these tags are another thing that you can also make seasonal, okay? So you could put um, some of these seasonal tags, which I could just use some of those same set also, you know? So we could use that Christmas tree one. Where's the sideways? Oh, no. Let's say the lemons. Let's say we do that lemons one. And we can do that sideways on here. But because t these have two sides, you can do a whole bunch more with these. So say you have that summer theme going and I've got my, where's my bee zesty? So I've got my lemon theme here. I've got this mini tag here going. Um, and then if flip it to the other side, we could have an autumn tag here and another, and you know, another autumn stencil there. So let's put on our lemon and I'm going to use that white chalk paint for this one. I'll pop the Gail says it's fun to see the different styles that you girls come up with. Yeah, so um, all the ambassadors are doing different things this week. I loved Amanda's, Melissa's. Uh, she had Melissa had yesterday where she was doing um, a wedding gift idea, which is a great idea. I thought it was a great idea for wedding gift, but also like a home. What do you call it? Housewarming. A housewarming gift. Perfect, with lots of fun things on there that you could gift to somebody. And if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club, boy, there's some creative people in there showing their tiered tray decor ideas using the essential stencil. So if you are in the Stencil of the Month Club, please post your ideas. If you've been creating tiered, de tiered tray decor this week using essential stencils, Please post your pictures in the Stencil of the Month Club group. And if you're not in the Stencil of the Month Club, send them to Essential Stencil. I don't know, how can we post those? There might be another way you can message the Essential Stencil page with your pictures. So we'd love to see those. Love to see creative ideas. There's so many ideas out there. Now, someone I, w someone I was watching in the Stencil of the Month Club commented, no, it was on my live the other day. She had the idea, I think it was Dawn, Dawn if you're watching, of doing a coffee themed tiered tray. And that spoke to my heart because I love a good cup of coffee. So um, that would be a great idea. And I've got my coffee mug if you saw that earlier. That I, I actually bought that when we were on a trip to the USA at one of those shops like Pier One. 
Yes, Donna just mentioned it again. I can't wait for the March Stencil of the Month Club, especially the add-on. I know, I can't wait to use that. And I've got some books here ready to use that on. I won't have time to do that today, but keep a look out either on a, um, Essential Stencil Live or on a live on my own page at I Restore Stuff. I can't wait to use those. Okay, so we've got our summer themed lemon here. And again, it's got some yeah, nice crisp edges because we did offload the brush as much as we could. So again, what I was saying before is you can create a different theme for every season. And uh, so from just using that, those same sets, here's the autumn one. I'm looking for ones that kind of go sideways now so that we can see we could do a sweet October with the pumpkins on it. And you can do fall themed decor on your tiered tray. They don't have to go sideways. You can put the tags up any which way you like. And then on the other side, you could do winter and spring themed. <clears throat> mini tags. I think my brush is drying out a little bit. And I can't wait to show you. So uh, I've got my decor already behind me. You could put colour in this. You can colour your pumpkin. But just for time's sake, I'm going to just do these white against the stain. Do you want to see how I stained this. You can watch my live this week on my page, I Restore Stuff. I showed you how I painted some of these items just so that we could have this, have them ready for the live today. But I'm going to show you how to create a tiered tray when you don't have a tiered tray. I've got a few cutting boards, so I'm going to layer those and create a tiered look as best I can with what we've got sometimes it's fun to just improvise, right? Who out here is an improviser? Who's with me? Uh, what are we out? Oops. Oh, the bee stencil is currently out of stock. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> now, the large tags Debbie's mentioned. So there are the largest size tags, which are quite huge. And they're on the Essential Stencil page, too. We've just got a couple of those. Uh, where did I see? I have my other one. That's one that I didn't show you, is this size. So we've got the Easter Bunny stop here sign. So see how they're cut off just, and they've got a hole right here, just like the mini tags, except these are huge. Look at the size of that compared to the mini tags. So you can make great door hangers with these ones, or even just, you don't have to worry about the, you could just put that on a sign right there. Easter Bunny stop here. So very cute. And of course there's little, eggs here which you can use those egg designs on anything you could actually just put some of those eggs on one of these mini tags just by themselves so that's another one that was part of the bundle i think but that will be i'm not sure we'll have to see essential stents will be able to tell you if they're available okay so i'm just going to stop there but like i said before you can we've got a summer representing lemons representing my summer theme uh sweet october representing the fall and you could put then Christmas and the spring ones on the back of those. Look at me, throw all my things in a pile just so that we can get on with making our, making our tiered tray. Okay, so we're nearly there. Just wanted to lift you up now and have a little look at what I've got behind me. So if you missed it earlier, I've got a bit of a mess here on the table. But it's, it's an organized mess. Let me stand up, move my chair over. See if I can point the camera in the right direction. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So what I've got here, which we can come closer, maybe I can drag this table oh, a little closer. I've got these two wooden boards. Maybe I'll bring the camera around in a minute. I'm used to shifting large pieces of furniture. <laughs> See how close I can get it. I have to bring it 
bring the camera around in a minute. Um, okay, so I've got these two shopping boards here to make my tray, to make my tiered tray when I don't have any. This is just an acacia board, if you missed that earlier. And this is a, it's got some little feet on it, just a wooden tray. I think I got that from our local Kmart once upon a time. So that's quite large, and then I've got this one that's a little bit smaller, so I want to kind of lay them up here. So to do that, all you need is something like my grandma's tin here. I'm just going to remove the lid, set that aside, put it in a special place. And I could put it down on this way, but I think the bottom has a little bit of a bump in it, so it was looking a bit um, wobbly. But I'm just going to put that in the centre, and then I'm going to stack my board on top like this. Now because this is decor, it's not like I'm going to be using it for putting food and people are going to be touching it. And so it is that the base of this is quite wide, the diameter I'm talking about. So it's quite wide, so you need something wide, you want something have something tiny or thin because then this may be a bit too wobbly. So there we go, we've got that going on here. <clears throat> now to add some things to it. I do have some cute little jars here that have got a gorgeous little pattern on them. Just put those in a, just a home decor place here in Australia. We pop some things on, we can do this, add a bit of metal, we've got greenery, all sorts of things going on. I love my mug, I think this is the one that I got from Pier One. It's got my initial on it. This is where you could make a coffee themed um, tray, which would be fun. So in this little jar, I found this pick. I, I am going to cut this off actually. I'm just going to cut the pick bit off so that it actually just looks like a, I'm hoping that I won't need it to poke it in something at another date. Or I could just bend it. I wonder if it'll bend. Yes, it'll bend. I didn't test it out to see if it will actually cut off. My scissors aren't really strong enough. So I just wanted to pop that in here. So look, then we've got a nice little piece of boxwood just sitting in the dish. We have this little succulent. It's a fake one because Sharon doesn't make, let plants live too well. Um, so I am going to just, what I did was stain to the outside of this. I'm going to leave this blank for now. We could fit some of these, our little stencils on, but this allows you to change up seasonally that little chalkboard. And I've got some of these, I've got this listed on my Amazon uh, storefront as well. So you could then write a little message for whatever season that it's going to be. You could even change that up daily if you wanted to. Make a beautiful message on there. So let's say we were doing the Easter theme. I've got my Bible here with For God So Loved the World. I'm going to add some bling and things to that. So we could even pop that up here or we could sit it down on the side, even just laying it down like this. Remember I found this and uh, don't ever underestimate the jewelry section of your thrift stores because these are just bangles bracelets. This one's metal and it's got a cute pattern and design, kind of rustic looking. So that fits with this. You could just add a bit of height to that if you wanted to, to just kind of make that. I'll show you closer. I've just added this bangle down to the bottom to just add a bit of metal to the scenery. If I wanted to add some height back here even, actually let me grab some of a couple of these little Stone pots, if you missed that earlier, I was showing everyone my daughter created these just out of glass bottles that were see through glass, and she added the it's like a plastery kind of textured stuff <laughs> to make a stoneware finish. So we could add those in here. I could raise that up a little bit by popping it on. Here's another thing I found some of these baskets just in our local thrift store as well. You can pop that underneath height to it so then we've got a bit more height going on. What else have we got? Should put some greenery in, in the pot. There we go. How are we going so far guys? <laughs> okay so if I'm doing my Easter theme that's kind of spring 
Well, it is for you guys. Our Easter is in fall, coming up soon. So then you could put some little flowers, some colourful bits in here. You could pop that up here, down here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Kind of. We can still see the bee zesty from the summer and the tree farm here. So you may want to have it a little bit more cluttered. We've got some baby's breath that's dry. Do you call that baby's breath? That's what we call it here. I know we all have different names for different things in different countries. Um, let's see if we could do some spring. A bit of spring coming out there. What else have we got? We've got our signs. So we've got our sweet October and fresh lemons. So pretend that is a spring thing. You got if you saw what I was doing before. Um, we can just add one of those in here, laying it down, popping it up, even lay it up the top here. That would be perfectly fine as well. So you don't have to have everything that I've got out here. I've just got a little uh, jewelry box type of thing to add a bit more wood if I needed to add some more wood. And the book stack isn't going to be on. The other idea I had was actually folding up some linen tea towels. So just getting some cloths and just rolling those. You can just roll those up and place them in somewhere for a little bit of texture. You could even pop one in the cup. I don't know. Guys, I'm totally making it up as I go. But hey, you can get the idea. There is so much on Pinterest. Also, I was going to add my leftover bit of say chocolates <laughs> just for a bit of bling, gold, Ferrero Rochers, adding a few up there. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys are, are beautiful. But can you imagine how you have a chocolate themed, a couple of little, few little chocolates on there. But imagine Easter being adding Easter eggs in one of these dishes. You could add another whole layer right in there. Got some wood beads, we can throw those in there somewhere. Let me just give a little look what we're up to. I want a bit more height on this bowl right here. I hope you can see all this. So I'm just going to put that little box in there. So we've got a bit of a one, two, three kind of tiered look there. And there's our fresh lemons, which can lay down and you can stand it up. And these bowls don't necessarily have to have greenery in them. They still look great with it. We've got our Bible up here. We could even prop that up slightly just by popping something underneath. So we've got the front filled. We can always add a little bit more greenery. Can't go wrong with more green. Popping the green back. Actually, this is um, way too big, but this eucalyptus leaf here sometimes look really cute. Just to fill up those back bits. Now, this is just assuming that you have your tiered tray backed onto, say, a wall or something. If you wanted it to look great all the way around, then you could. If you wanted to look great all the way around, you would have to think about that and do it accordingly. How are we going? I kind of feel like I need something else around in here so I can stick a little sprig. something here, imagine that filled up with Easter eggs or whatever. So, how are we going? Yeah, that one, Sonia says she has a large lip on hers. I'm assuming she means this part here. So, let me just pop that back a bit. I'm just going to take a bit more. Now, obviously, you can see these sticks coming out through the back. Pretend they're not there. Pretend they're cut off. That's just to show a little bit more of the greenery here. So to cover up these, you know, words from shelling on either side, you can imagine that filled with Easter eggs. I didn't get to put my wood beads on there. They could still work somewhere. Could come out from behind the, the little Bible there and just lay it onto the table. Okay, so let me just pop the camera off so we can have a closer look if you like. And we are almost done, guys. And Essential Stencil is going to be picking some winners very soon. So. Just giving you a closer look there. So from the top, we're going down. So imagine that with all your different themed seasons. And then there's a lot of different ideas on Pinterest. 
can follow my Pinterest page if you'd like. I restore stuff on all of the things. Pinterest, Instagram. There you go. Hopefully that made sense as I pop this back on here to just let me check who those winners are. There we go. Okay, having a look now. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you for that bracelet idea. I just saw those in the thrift store and I thought, oh, I can't pass those up. They kind of look really like I could use them. Yeah, and so just adds that little bit of height. And pop my chocolates around the front, or one here, one there. Have to do up my screw on there. So hope you enjoyed that. And our winners today, you can see them over here. I can't see them on Facebook. Let me see. Okay, congratulations to Amy and Gina and Sharon. Great name, Sharon. <laughs> Congratulations to our three winners. Thank you guys so much for watch, watching today. And join me next week for another live and I'll be in my new house. Woohoo! So the scenery might look a little different. You probably won't hear the birds. Um, but you probably will hear some construction because there's construction going on around our new place where we're moving to, our rental. So thank you guys so much. I would love to see you over on Instagram. Um, Facebook page, Irisdoll Stuff, YouTube videos, I've got tutorials all over the place, and on my blog, irisdollstuff.com. I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.